Hey everyone, my name is Pablo. Welcome back to my channel and I am here to share with you my acting experiences and to give you more information on working in the film and TV industry. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit on subscribe and click on that notification bell. I know it's been a while you guys, the last time I did post an acting video was a few months ago, but I will do a separate vlog to explain why that is. If not, you can head over to my Instagram and that will give you a sneak peek of why I haven't really been posting any videos. But anyway, now that I am back, I am here to give you guys some exciting news. Yes, we will be talking about another open casting call that is happening right now on Casted Talent. If you guys have never heard of Casted Talent before, I'm gonna link some videos down below and up here. I have talked about Casted Talent before in my other acting vlogs, so please check those out. Basically, Casted Talent is a platform used for online casting calls. The videos that I would recommend for you guys to check out specifically are my two-part series on how to audition for Netflix because that's where I also specifically show you guys how to use Casa Talent. Don't forget to watch part one and part two of those because I give out very important information in both of them. All right, so what is this open casting call for this time? So Paramount Television Studios has decided to make a Grease TV series and it is going to be a prequel. And if you don't know what a prequel is, basically it means that these are events that happen before the actual Grease movie and it will be called Rise of the Pink Lady. So I think that's very indicative of what this TV series is going to be about. And I do realize some of you might not be old enough to actually know what Grease is. So Grease is a musical and the film version came out in the 70s and it starred John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. I'm sure if you guys look it up and check out some of the videos from the movie, you'll recognize some of the music because Grease is quite iconic in musical theater. Don't worry you guys, I'm gonna put the link for this down below and I'm also gonna go through the information with you on this video. So the easiest way to find this is to click the link below that I'm gonna share to you. It's gonna bring you directly to the Cast of Talent page for this TV series. Right at the top there, you will see the project name, Grease Rise of the Pink Ladies, and you will also see the studio and the network that is producing this. Again, it is Paramount. So the next part's gonna be important, you guys. Now we have the casting directors listed. You can see that there are two different casting directors. We have Indigo Casting, which I am assuming is based in the US. I'm not quite familiar with them. And we also have Tiffany Mack, who is based in Vancouver. I've auditioned for her before. And finally, you see location, it will be filmed in Vancouver. So that is the main reason why I was alerted of this casting call, because that is where I am based or was based. More on that next time, you guys. And the very last thing you'll see here is the submission deadline. If you are looking to tape an audition for this, take note of the submission deadline because you don't want to like really work hard on making your tape and making your audition and then have the audition close out on you because you missed the deadline. So yes, take note here. It says that the deadline is Friday, October the 8th. I am assuming that doesn't really say the time zone, but I would highly suggest maybe submitting the day before just to make sure because it doesn't really state which time zone they're basing this off of. And so this is why I mentioned earlier that looking at the casting directors is quite important, especially for this one, because specifically it shows that the open casting call is for US or Canadian citizens only. I'm so sorry, you guys, if you are not from the US or from Canada and you're watching this video, but still, I think this is really good information on how to use casted talent. I did promise before that when something does open up on the website, I would make a video to show you what it actually looks like and the steps on how to submit your audition. So now I am just going to read through what it is exactly they are looking for. You can see this on the website. It's pretty much the same for the US call and the Canadian call. They're just splitting up the submission so that if you're from the US, it's the US casting director who will watch your tape, or if you're from Canada, it'll be Tiffany Mac. All right, so in all capital letters, looking for actors, singers, and dancers. We are looking for true triple threats who are 18 years or older to play high school juniors. This is pretty typical. I am over 18, but most of my auditions have been for younger than my actual age. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty typical in film and TV. And then we have performers of all gender expressions, 
all sexual orientations, all body types, all ethnicities, all races, all nationalities, all, re all religions, and performers with disabilities encouraged to submit. So basically anyone, absolutely anyone can submit for this, but only if you're a US citizen and a Canadian citizen. Yeah, so that's basically what it is. And right below that, you will see the taping instructions. Again, select your country of residence. So you do have to say if you're from the US and if you are from Canada, I explained that earlier. And so I'm just gonna show my screen to you guys at this point. If I'm not already doing that, actually Cast and Talent does go step by step. I know it's still a little confusing, so I'll try to break it down or do it with you guys on this video. So it'll be a little bit easier to follow. So the first thing you'll do is take a look at this darker gray box on the right hand side of your screen. In that green rectangle, the words are in white, it says submission process record your audition, follow these steps. So the first thing we're trying to do is downloading your taping instructions, which will include your sides or your audition script. So number one, role. It's not really the role we're choosing. In this case, we are selecting if we are a US citizen or a Canadian citizen. So just as an example, and because I am a Canadian citizen, I'm gonna say Canadian. If you're from the US, click on US, obviously. And then the next thing you'll do is in number two, it's in green, download taping instructions for this role. Once you click on that, a pop-up will open and it will say enter your email address and we will send the taping instructions and or sides, again, that is what we call the audition script, to you. So simply type in your email and you will also see an option there. It will say receive casted talent newsletter. If you watch my other videos where I talk about cast a talent, I did recommend clicking on this because this is how you learn about the global open casting calls or the US and Canadian casting calls. I think it's a lot of work to go back to cast a talent and keep checking it all the time. I would not remember to do that, but getting those emails is a great way of finding out about these things. But again, it's really up to you guys. So type in your email, Tick on that for receiving the newsletter or not, it's up to you. Hit on OK and in a few minutes, you will receive an email from Cast the Talent that will include the instructions and the sides. So I'm not gonna show it on my screen here. I did talk about this before as well when I talked about Cast the Talent or doing any types of auditions. You're not supposed to be sharing the sides in public. And if you're thinking, well, how will they know? Once you click on your sides and open it up, you will see it is watermarked it will be watermarked in this case with your email. So they'll know exactly who shared the sides to the public. I know this is an open casting call, but in general, this is my advice to you. Just don't do it. No, you don't want to start something. <laughs> All right, so let me just open up my email and check. So now I'm opening up my email and it will say click here to directly download the size that is in blue. And then it will open up a page. It'll say Amber Shot at the top. That's pretty typical. Just click acknowledge and download. And there you go. You have your instructions and the sides. This is also the first time I'm seeing this. So I'm gonna go through it with you guys. At the very top, Greece in pink because it is the rise of the pink ladies. Okay, so please read entire document and follow instructions carefully. Yes, you have to do that. So I might miss some things, just go through it very carefully. Go through it twice if you have to, if you're not really familiar with how to do open casting calls, that's what I would suggest as well. Okay, so what will you have to submit for the acting portion of this edition? Again, this is gonna be a musical, so they are looking for people who can sing and dance as well. And there is no dance audition, but there will be a singing audition. That will be a separate video. I'm gonna go through the instructions for the acting submission first. So it looks like there will be two scene options. You will only have to choose one and you can choose which of the two characters within that one scene you will be reading for. It also says to submit only one take. This is a good thing about doing auditions at home, you guys. You can do it as many takes as you would like and you can choose the best one and that's the one you submit. That's not what happens when you are in the casting room. You don't really get that many chances. So this is to your advantage. That's basically it 
for the acting portion. Number two, you will see the instructions for the singing audition. Basically, it's going to be a one minute video of you doing a pop song, it says. So yes. And if you look at the little note there in number two, no editing. I mean, that's common for your acting videos as well. You don't really edit anything. You just submit like one take. So yeah, no editing for either of the two videos. And then finally, the third one will be your slate. If you don't know what a slate is, or if you don't really know how to do an audition, I do have another video for you guys to check out and it's called All About Auditions or All About Auditioning. I'm gonna link that below and up here as well. So please watch that first before you do your audition because I give you some extremely important tips and show you the basic framework of how to do an audition at home. Nothing fancy. It's actually really simple. You don't need to buy any crazy equipment. You don't have to spend any money to do an audition. Yes, yeah, so do check that one out for more information on actually doing an audition. Okay, now back to the slate. So again, this is why it's important to read the instructions because not everything may be the same at each audition. Basically what a slate is, is if you go into audition or if you tape an audition, you would just introduce yourself. You would say your name, your height, where you're located and who you're represented by or who your agent is if you have one. But looks like there's more information you will need to share um, for this slate here. You will have to do a full body slate and you will have to say your name, your preferred pronouns, that is whether you prefer uh, being referred to as he or she or they, etc. Um, you will also say your height, again that's typical for a slate, where you are based, and the name of your agent and manager if you have one. On top of that, it says then tell us a little bit about yourself. It can be your interests or hobbies, performance experiences, language you speak, etc anything. So this is the part where you guys can stand out. That's what it means to me anyway. And just like the singing video, it shouldn't be longer than one minute. So yes, use that one minute very wisely, you guys, because this will definitely be your chance to show what you got. Of course, that is on top of your singing ability and your acting ability. So now moving down, the next portion are even more instructions, and this is basically how to actually tape the audition. Like I said earlier, check out my auditioning video, read through those instructions, and then my video will give you more of a visual of what it should actually look like. I have to say that I'm actually not submitting for this open call. I just wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was such a great opportunity, but unfortunately, I myself will not be submitting for this for two main reasons. One being, I have no singing ability, so yeah, no. Um, and the second being, I am no longer based in Canada. Again, more on that in another vlog. Um, we'll save that story for next time, you guys. So basically going back to the instruction sheet here, numbers one and two are basically about how to tape your videos. It's all the basic stuff that you would do at any audition. Um, again, you don't have to spend money for this. Just make sure that you're well lit, make sure that you can be heard on the audition. And it also describes how you should be framed. Typically it will be from the chest up, kind of what I'm doing in a lot of my vlogs. My Netflix audition videos does show you some of my tapes that I've done before. So you can take a look at that to see how they were framed. And again, the auditioning video will talk about who you're gonna do the audition with, where to look, some tips on movement and other things like that. So number three is specifically about your singing video. So it says it can be a tight or wide shot of you. Basically, tight is kind of like this, just like pretty close up. Wide, you can be further back, but it doesn't really matter because it says here what they want to hear is you singing. That's the important part. Make sure that the audio is good. For number four, it's something that was already mentioned earlier. For the slate, they do want a full body shot of you. And again, to keep it at a minute max. Okay, now number five is very important, you guys. I cannot stress enough how many times people will probably get this mixed up, but it will give you specific instructions on how to label your files and how to upload them. So please follow this because, I mean, you don't wanna go through all that taping these three different videos and you did not follow the correct instructions on how to label and upload and they might not get to see it. So yes, please follow number five very clearly. It says here 
that the scene or the audition, the acting audition, the song, and the slate will be three separate video files. And the way you will label them will be your first name and your last name together, underscore either scene for the acting one, song for the singing one, and slate. Um, it's not very clear with me just saying it. So look at the instructions sheet and follow those instructions. And then we have a little note here about making sure that you are giving the right contact information. In this case, it'll be your email so that Tiffany Mack or the US casting director can contact you. Because if you don't give your correct information, then what you don't want to happen is submit this like amazing audition and not do like the paperwork correctly and it ends up that they didn't get to see it or they don't get to contact you so these are actually very very important steps and number seven is a little note about covid and health and safety protocols and guidelines so that was the instructions half of the download from cast of talent the second half here will be the actual sides they're not too long, which is good news. I'm not going to read them out though, because like I said earlier, that's not a good idea. Again, you can choose either role. What I would suggest to you guys is pick the role or the character or the scene where you think you can show more of your personality or something that you're comfortable with. They don't really give us information about the characters and the roles. And that's the best we can do in this type of scenario. Just show them what you got and what you're about. So once you do all of that, you've taped your acting audition, your singing video, and your slate, you're going to have to go back onto Cast of Talent to the page for the Grace Project. And if you look back here, I'm gonna show my screen to you guys again. If you look back here in the darker uh, gray box where we downloaded the instructions and the sides, the second half of that is where you will submit your audition. So if you've done this before, you can just log in and submit. But if you are new to Cast of Talent, if you've never submitted to an open call before, you're going to click on, I'm new to Cast of Talent, obviously, and you're going to fill out this page here to create a basic profile. And I cannot stress this enough, you should not be paying any money to do an audition. I think they mentioned it somewhere earlier um, whether that was the instructions or on the main page. So again, you should not be paying any money to do an audition. All right, so once you filled everything up, basically um, it's all your personal information and ways to contact you. I can make sure that that is all correct in case they like you and they want to contact you. And then the second portion of that will be to upload your media. So upload photo, that basically means your headshot. It doesn't really say that it is a requirement to submit for this, but on the form here, it looks like it is required. So basically for a headshot, as you can see, it's called a headshot. You're not submitting a full body photo. Um, pretty much it's chest up, just like the audition. And basically casting just wants to see how you really look. So nothing crazy like nothing distracting they just want to see your face if you're still unsure about what a headshot is i would just google it and you'll see some sample headshots from different actors or photographers there and then following uploading your photo would be uploading your three video files we already talked about that it does say that you can do up to four videos but again just follow instructions just do the three that's required don't upload a fourth with I don't know what else you do but yeah just do the three required following that it tells you to upload your resume this one is not required so really don't stress about this if you happen to have a resume because you've done some acting work before of course put that in and then we have submission notes you don't really need to say anything there and then you're going to have to agree to the submission guidelines agree that your auditions will be the property of Paramount once you've submitted it and agree to the cast of talent terms and conditions as well. Interestingly enough, the final portion is a form for a parent or guardian for those who are under 18, but I do believe for this one, they're going more towards someone who is 18 and over. If you're younger than 18, I guess you can technically submit for this just to see. Um, there's no harm in trying. And with open casting calls like this, especially when they're global auditions. I've said this before, personally, I don't expect too much of it, 
but it is a great opportunity for you to be seen by casting, especially if you have no agent or no representation yet. And that was basically it. You've submitted for the Grease prequel TV series. So if you are submitting for this, I wish you guys all the best of luck. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I should say break those legs. And please do let me know because I am excited to hear from you guys. Comment down below if you are auditioning for this and let me know if this was helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions for me. Um, not necessarily just about this open casting call. If you have any acting questions for me, comment below. I love hearing from you guys. Give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful to you. And of course, do not forget to hit on subscribe for more acting content for me. Thank you so much for watching you guys till the next one.